Hey everybody, it's David from Projector People. I'm very excited to talk to you guys today about the new unit we received from NEC. Uh, this is the NEC NPPA653UL projector. That's a mouthful. Uh, and it's a unique situation for us because we don't deal a lot with uh, integration style projectors in our demo videos. Um, now for our sales, that is actually a huge portion of our business. Uh, and that's what we get a lot of phone calls about. So we're really excited to have an actual unit here today to show off and share with you guys. Even better, this unit is not available yet. Uh, it's really just been announced. It's NEC's brand new laser LCD unit. This is a 6500 lumen laser, solid state laser LCD, um, and it's filter free. So that's something that's almost unheard of. I can't think of another projector that offers that um, uh, you know, feature. And why that is so important is because, as you know, for those of you who install and deal with these integration projectors, once you've got it set up, and it's a lot of times high up in the ceiling, if you need to do maintenance on that projector, you are going to have to get a lift or call someone in to take care of that. With this projector, it's pretty much set and play. Uh, there is no lamp to deal with, there is no filter to change ever, um, and it's rated for 20,000 20, hours of lamp uh, light. Um, and when I talked to NEC the other day, they said that this is a heavy duty projector for sure. Uh, they recommend 12 hours or less a day, which in 95% of cases is more than going to fit the bill. The only thing this is probably not ideal for is like a command control situation. But every other application, it is 100% going to do the job for you. Uh, it'd be wonderful for museums, house of worship, corporate, uh, auditoriums. And there's other benefits as well in that it's stackable. Up to four projectors can be daisy chained together. And uh, there's benefits with that. NEC has put in built-in edge blending software that you can basically set these projectors up Point them at the screen in a horizontal format and a, and a kind of tiled format and it will take care of the edge blending for you. All you need is a webcam and you can be up and running in two minutes with a perfectly blended image. Uh, something that just a few years ago would take you hours and hours to set up and would be a nightmare. It can now be done in just a few minutes. It's amazing. Uh, unfortunately, we'll be able to show that to you because we only have one unit, but I do want to share that with you. Uh, some other quick things I want to talk about with this unit. Um, obviously the edge blending, the filter free performance, the laser, the LCD, that's all really important. Uh, it does have uh, horizontal and vertical lens shift uh, built in, I think 60% horizontal and 40% vertical if I'm correct and we'll correct that if that's not true. And here we are at the back of the unit. This is where all the magic happens. Well, I guess all the magic happens on the other side, but this is where all the inputs happen. Uh, of course you have your input for your power cable, uh, you have your uh, HDI, HD base T in and out, uh, so that's fantastic. You can keep this in kind of a chain. Uh, you have your three inputs here, uh, display inputs, display port in, and uh, dual HDMI. So this is going to be uh, excellent for fast uh, input switching if you have that need, if you use this in a broadcast type situation or um, uh, uh, such as that. And then you have your computer in, uh, your PC control RS-232, uh, if you have a need for the 3D sync, that's here. And then you have your audio out. Um, I'm assuming that's, I'm not sure if that's an IR remote or if that's an actual, it looks like that's a uh, connected remote. Uh, and then you have your audio in, and then your Ethernet, or your LAN, and your USB, probably for firmware. So uh, that's nice and concise. You don't need a whole lot more than that. Um, and I like these HDMI connections. They look like they... Uh, you can screw those in so they don't pull out really easily depending on the type of connector you have. So it's a very nice, durable unit. Let's... Hey, okay, so we're going to take a quick 30-second uh, view of the menu options. Uh, this menu is built for, uh, you know, to handle every application you can possibly imagine with this projector. So let's get right to it. Um, from the menu uh, remote, uh, you can select, you have at the top, you have your inputs, uh, as we discussed. Uh, you have your adjustments, your picture adjustments, image options, uh, video options, uh, and 3D if you're using that. 
uh, you have your display, your inputs, uh, your mode, you have picture by picture, picture in picture, um, you have several different options there. Of course, if you have this set up in an array uh, setup, you'll have additional options there. Uh, and then your standard setup, front, rear display, all that kind of uh, information. And then what your, uh, uh, you know, how many hours you've used on the projector, this is more for maintenance, um, the source, the resolution of the source, everything that you would need uh, to take a look. And then uh, additionally on the remote itself, you have uh, left click and right click buttons. So if you're going to do some kind of application, I guess it would uh, be hooked up to a computer, you can actually operate that from the uh, remote itself, maybe in presentation mode. Uh, and then you have um, focus options. You have, uh, so you just click here and then you can adjust. This is actually really great. You can adjust the center uh, focus as well as the periphery. Uh, so a lot of times if you have to do some kind of keystoning, uh, you'll get a little blur on the outside edges. Uh, the periphery will take care of that for you. That's, uh, that's fantastic. You have uh, motorized zoom, uh, which we'll just do a little bit here. Zoom in, zoom out, which is really great. And then you have your lens shift, uh, 60 degrees uh, horizontal and 30 degrees, uh, actually 60 degrees vertical, 30 degrees uh, horizontal left and right uh, lens shift. So your placement options are fantastic there. What I really want to do now is show you this projector in, uh, you know, take it through its paces, show you some images uh, of maybe presentation setups and then some video and then just some regular images with the lights on and lights off. The picture you're seeing right now is in a conference room with full overhead lighting on. Uh, typically the image would be kind of blurred out if you're dealing with a 3000 lumen projector or lower, even 4000 lumens. As you can see here, the image is bright and crisp and clear and with the laser uh, lamp uh, option there, you are going to get a a full 6,500 lumens out of that laser consistently, uh, whether you just turned it on or it's been running for seven or eight hours during the day. So it's great. So let's go ahead and run through these. Uh, this would just be an example of a presentation you might be showing. Uh, let me show you some uh, the, the, the beauty of the color in this projector out of the box is amazing. These colors are so vibrant, so saturated, but not oversaturated. The whites and the darks are very uh, clear. This looks about a bazillion times better than it does on the laptop I'm showing it from. Uh, and this is without any color correction at all. If you need to do color correction, uh, the projector is obviously built for that. It can uh, manage uh, six different levels of color input. Uh, so if you need to do some heavy duty calibration, you can easily set that up. Uh, and then I'll show you, I'll just have a quick video here from YouTube. Look at the contrast on that tiger. Uh, you have the darks, the whites, the beautiful greens in the background. It's absolutely stunning. Um, we'll see it in motion here. 